Hi everyone, so my name's Natasha. Um, I've had a bit of a weird relationship with YouTube, I've made videos before, but this is just quite random for me because I didn't expect to be making this video. About, well I don't know when I'm going to be putting this up, but about a week ago I posted a video, I didn't post a video, I posted a picture <laughs> of my hair, um, like my hair journey, so my hair now and what my hair was like a year ago, two years ago, because it was, it was horrendous. Um, but I was just flicking through my photos and I just randomly posted it. Anyway, didn't think anyone would really care. But after I posted it, I literally got so many messages asking me like what I use and like how I style it and where I get it cut, which I didn't answer. I did not answer that. Whoops. Um, and then I posted a poll. That's what I did. I posted a poll and I said, shall I just record how what I use and like my little routine? And then like 70 people said, yeah, do a video. So. I've done a video, which is what I'm doing now, just about how I get my hair like this, what products I use, um, and I sort of said like a few things throughout, if you are going on a hair journey, like a few tips that I did that worked for me, but obviously it's just mainly my curly hair routine, um, ooh, <coughs> my curly hair, <coughs> God. yeah, but it's just pretty much my curly hair routine, um, so yeah, I didn't answer where I got my hair cut, but I'm gonna answer now. There is a place in Stratf not in Stratford, in um I can't remember. I can't remember where it is. I'll put it down below. It's in London, um, where I get my hair cut. But they are really good for anyone with curly hair, so I'll put it um in the little thing down there. <laughs> I'll put it down there. Um, where I get it cut so if you do want to go that is a good place when I went they did really well with my hair and I need to go back because it's literally been a year yeah that's enough of me waffling if you want to see how I do my hair then just keep on watching and I hope this helps um, yeah so my hair is freshly washed and conditioned um, I sometimes you leave can't speak I sometimes leave a tiny 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 bit of conditioner in my hair just so it's easier to brush through um, but yeah, my hair is now washed. Everyone finds it so weird because my hair is like dead straight when it's wet, which is really, really weird. Doesn't even look like I have curly hair, but I do. So normally I have a spray bottle and I just like spray any bits that have sort of dried out because you want it wet enough when you're putting the products in. You don't want it too wet that it's literally dripping, but you want it... Um, you want it at a stage where like the products are actually going to absorb into your hair so if it's too dry it won't do this um, but you'll sort of get the more you do oh, God, the more you do your own hair like you'll get used to how wet um, is best for your hair basically and how the product best goes into your hair so I'm just going to brush my hair through sorry if I'm looking down here it's because I've got a little mirror otherwise I can't see what I'm doing <laughs> Firstly, I always, always, always use a leave-in conditioner. So this one is the Shea Moisture, I think that's how you say it, I don't know. Shea Moisture Strengthen and Restore Leave-in Conditioner. Um, it's got like Jamaican black castor oil in it. Um, but I actually do, oh, I do usually use the Cantu leave-in. I don't know why I'm not using it today, but I'm not using it today. <laughs> yeah, so I'm using this one. It's actually quite expensive, I'm not going to lie, but not really one of the choices there so <laughs> this is probably how much I put in to be honest you sort of know when how much to put in like just put a bit in and then I don't really know you know I do put some in my roots I know they oh gosh what's going on there then <laughs> I just sort of put loads into my hair onto the ends because my ends do get very very dry um I mean I never used to really put it on my roots because I didn't want flat hair but Oh, I really hate when hair sticks in my hands, it freaks me out. Um, you shouldn't really put too much, it depends on you, but I've heard that you shouldn't put too much on your roots because it can make it like more flat and I like volume. Um, but yeah, just literally I rake this through my hair. I just sort of, I feel like you know how much to put in, like you're going to feel it. If your hair still feels dry, then just put a bit more in. Um, and then the more you do it, it's trial and error, like I've been through phases where I literally put too much product in and my hair literally looks greasy. Not even greasy, but it just, you can't get volume if you put too much moisture into your hair because it's too moist, almost like you need a bit of dryness to like rough it up and be able to stay there. Um, but yeah, so that's literally what I do with the leave-in and then I just brush 
it in but I really think a leave-in is important because it adds that moisture in especially if you're like me and you've got dyed hair it's really important because sometimes well for me anyway my hair can just look dry and I just hate that um, it will just get rid of like as much frizz as possible obviously there's always going to be a bit of frizz what can we do we've got curly hair but <laughs> you want to minimize that as much as you can so the next thing I do is, this doesn't have to be even, I just part it and I would put it into four sections. When I section it, I feel like the product goes into my hair a lot nicer than when I don't section it. So I definitely think sectioning your hair is a good idea. It can take a bit longer, but it looks better in the long run. So I literally just, I don't do it neat, I just split it into four. I'm just going to twist. This is just not looking cute but it's okay because it's okay because we're gonna sort it out so I can never open these clips I'm so weak sorry give me a second to use two hands so yeah got my little silver clip cute anyway <laughs> and I just do another part the other side take my side my side I just leave these sections down but you know one two three four so um, I'm going to spray a bit more, I just feel like this bit's a little bit dry. Okay, so I'm going to start with this section over here, just brush it through. So I'm just going to say from the get-go, I'm not a hair guru. Everything that I'm saying is just what I've researched and what works for me. It might not work for you, it's trial and error, I just want to put it out there. But yeah, so all the products that I use like change all the time. I probably should stop doing that, but anyway, live and you learn. Today I'm using this cream of nature um, argan oil scent hair lotion. <laughs> um, sorry, can't speak. Yeah, I'm using this hair lotion. It smells. This is. I love this. Cause I actually am. I've got something wrong with me. Um, I love this because it smells so so nice. But yeah, I just always like to use like a lotion or something that's gonna moisturise my hair. Because again, I don't like frizz and I like my curls to be moisturised. Smells, oh, it smells really, really nice. This is like my favourite um, smelling product. It's the Argan Oil. About that much, oh, about that much. Obviously, this is a smaller section, but I just rake it through my hair. Um, um, yeah, like I said, not too, too much. Why do I keep sensitive twice? Too, too. Two, two. So I'm going to do this whole section, everything to this section, and then I'm going to move on to the next section. So after that, I use another moisturising item. <laughs> this, um, I don't know how you pronounce it. I think it's Moi Moisture. Moi Moisture? I don't know. Something like that. It's a curl smoothie, and it's got like coconut oil and stuff in it. This, I'm going to warn you, it's really, really thick. By the way, all of this stuff is like from, you can get from like the hair shop. Um, or some stuff like Super Jug, like you can get this from Super this from Superjug, this from Superjug, Cantu from Superjug, Shea Moisture, everything's really in Superjug now. It's more overpriced, but anyway. Okay, let me just, I actually talk too much. So this um, stuff smells nice. Um, you don't use too much, I'm warning you. If you've got really thick hair, then go for it. But for me, I remember using it once and literally it dragged my hair down, like, because it is so thick. You really don't need too much, and it's like, even this is probably too much, so I'm not going to put the whole thing in. But you just want to coat your hair. It's just about finding the balance of how much to actually use, because you really don't want to weigh your hair down. I like to put a bit on the ends, because my ends get dry. So yeah, that's what I do. I like to brush all the products through my hair, because I feel like it then actually really gets into my hair. I said hair about 12 times. Okay, so next I use Cantu Curling Cream, Coconut Curling Cream, whatever you want to call it. Um, this, I go to and from it. Is that right? To and from? Go back and forth. I go back and forth with this. Like sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. I didn't use it for ages. This actually, this stuff is actually really good. Like I don't know why I stopped using it, but anyway, I'm using about this much. I don't know if you can even see how much that is, but that much. And I just rake this through my hair again. Um, twist that in. Get the moisture in. And then I just brush it through again. I'm on the Cantu vibe right now. I'm loving it. Okay, so if there's only one product that I recommend to you, it's this. It's the Cantu Defining Custard. Oh my gosh, like... 
seriously, my hair since using this is like my curls have got so much better. Shout out to my friend Shaquille because <laughs> I wouldn't know about this without him. But basically, well, it doesn't have to be the Cantu one. I've tried other ones, but like a jelly or a gel or something, honestly, will change your curls. Like it will make them so much more defined. The thing is, I used to stay away from these because I remember using it at first and it would make my hair so crunchy and I was just like, no, don't need that. But if you use this right, this is honestly like the best hands down product. Like I, I can't do my hair without this. Um, I do use a lot of this, I'm not even gonna lie, probably too much, but it actually makes my hair less dry and more defined, so. Yeah, it's a lot. It's not really, it doesn't look too nice, but we just, we just ignore that. Um, so I just comb this through again. So what I'll do is then just comb it through like this. Comb and then scrunch. Scrunch is the key. If you're gonna do anything, scrunch. But yeah, anyway, I just brush this up. Not brush, oh my gosh, I just scrunched this up. But yeah, that's basically what I do. Sometimes do it. Sometimes I like bunch bits together and just do a little twist. But yeah, that's one section. I'm now gonna do every other section and then I'm gonna come back. What I like to do is just finger curl some of the front ones because I feel like sometimes the ones near my face just don't don't go into a nice curl straight away so I just like to do it with my fingers um, to make sure that I'm gonna like them because otherwise it's risky <laughs> but yeah I don't do this with my whole thing and then I just scrunch the rest up Next, I'm just going to use an old t-shirt. We shouldn't use towels to dry our hair because, well, I read this. It might not be facts, but um, towels, uh, I think they give you more frizz and stuff. I don't know. They're bad for curly hair. So, um, I use an old t-shirt because I still haven't got myself a towel. And I literally just scrunch my hair up with the towel, with the t-shirt. It's really important to get regular cuts as well because that will make your curls way way nicer i haven't had my hair cut in like a year i'm really bad like i think when i went and got it cut in america they said i needed it done every like seven to nine months or something i can't remember so yeah you should make sure you're getting regular cuts and um, also another important thing is sorry i just thought i'd give a tip when you use shampoos and conditioners make sure they're sulfate and paraben free so you can read in the um ingredients at the back, make sure they've got no sulfates in them and stuff, um, but sometimes they'll say on the front, it will tell you, but yeah. So, anyway, once I've done this, I like to let the products sit in my hair for like 15 minutes um, before drying them. I dry my hair with a diffuser because my hair takes so long to dry. I'm going to let this sit and then I'll be back in about 15 minutes. Okay, so now I'm going to style and dry my hair, so I always do it with a diffuser. This is literally just an old Tresemme one and it, um, I always put it on the lowest heat and the lowest amount of like air because that was aggressive and the lowest amount of air because that reduces frizz um, if you put like it on a really high air setting then you're going to get more frizz so and obviously no heat because we're trying to protect our hair so I'm just going to start drying it and then I'll talk you through sort of how I do it but I normally just literally hold it there, scrunch it up a bit and I always put my hand there I do this sort of thing and it feels like it helps. You're going to see. <laughs> also, sorry, this is music. Also, um, I like to scrunch as I go, so the bits that aren't being done are sort of scrunch. Don't touch it too much, because apparently that's bad too, but that's what I do anyway. <laughs> I like to flip my hair upside down a lot because it gets me more volume so you'll see a lot of flipping and a lot of flipping um, and then yeah that's basically it. Make sure you get your roots really really dry because that's the bit you do not want to be still damp. Sometimes when I get to this section I add a bit more of my product. Oh, look listen again like I said I'm not qualified. <laughs> I'm not qualified. Um, I just, this is just what I do. 
and it seems to look alright. So just going to get a bit more of that, because I don't know, I can just feel in my hair like the bits that just need more of this. It just is so good. See, look, look how much I'm putting in. Probably like not how you're supposed to go through this stuff, but... Um, anyway, yeah, just putting a bit more of this. I'm telling you now, just make, look, you can already tell when you put it in. My curls have just gone like, bang. Scrunch it in there, get it in there, and then go back to drying it. Okay, so when I get to this level of dryness, which is quite dry but still not dry, um, I then do this thing. This is optional. If you'd like volume, then I'd definitely suggest this. I use these little things. I don't know if this is what you're supposed to do, but I do it anyway. When I go upside down and I'm drying my hair, I just sort of massage it into my scalp. Only my scalp, because you don't want frizz with these curls. You want it just where your scalp is, because it sort of like teases it, so it gives it a bit more volume. Okay, so the main thing that I do is flip my hair upside down and get an afro comb, but I don't have an afro comb right now, so you've got to work with what you've got to work with, and I've only got the broken clip. So I'm going to use my broken clip and just pick the, tease the roots. Only the roots, don't do this to your curls because it will just mess them up and you just work so hard to get them good. Oh gosh, you really should use an afro comb, I would not recommend this, but... I just sort of just, just rough up my roots, if that's how you want to say it. Just sort of back home them a bit to get you that extra volume. If you like volume, this is the best. And then I just sort of go through it with my fingers a bit, like I scratch my roots, do a bit of a flip. And then, that's it. my hair like this yeah so i hope that helped you or even if you just found one product or one little styling technique that i use then hopefully that helps but um um if you've got any questions then literally just message me um and i'll, I'll definitely try my best to help like i said i've just picked this up along the way from googling and and just trial and error like the first set of products i used didn't work so just be just persevere and keep going until you find a product that works for you um, and you'll get there. If you are going through a time where you just hate your hair and it's not good yet and it's dead, push through. Do not straighten it and do not use heat because I promise you in the long run it's worth it. Um, deep, oh that's one more thing, I do deep condition it, not as much as I'm supposed to. I probably only do it like once a month. <laughs> but you should be deep conditioning your hair. I speak so fast, I really need to calm down. Um, and I've probably said basically about 25 times. Anyway, that's not the point. Um, my attention is just all over the place. You should deep condition your hair um, about once a week, uh, which I don't really do, but that's another good tip. Yeah, like, even if you just find styles that you can put it in, like, like a low bun or a ponytail or something to get it out of the way, but you're still not using heat or braid it, whatever, just please stick at it. But yeah, like I said, if you've got any questions, I'm here. I'll try my best to help. I hope that sort of helped. Um, I hope it's helped someone and that you can find some sort of technique or product that you like. Um, and yeah, I don't know what's going to happen now. I didn't expect to record this video, but um, maybe I'll be uploading soon something else. But yeah, hope that helped. And that's about it. <laughs>